Did you miss me? I'm back. It's the first authentic selling TV since neurosurgery. Find out how it started, how it went, and how it's going, and what any of this has to do with your business. On the first, we're back. Allow me to reintroduce myself, Authentic Selling TV. If I could do Jay-Z justice, like I can Dr. Dre, which is, I'm not really doing Dr. Dre justice, I know, but I would sing, allow me, or rap, or attempt to do, allow me to reintroduce myself, but I can't, so I'm not even gonna try. But that's what this sort of feels like. Allow me to reintroduce myself. It's me, hi, I'm Kendrick Shope. I cannot tell you what it is like to be back here filming Authentic Selling TV. So we're talking about how it started, how it went, how it's going, and what any of it has to do with your business. Very short story for those, I guess this is going to become a show of sales story. So, you know, there's that. But for any of you who don't know, uh, in March, I found out that I had to have semi-emergent neurosurgery, and I've got the scar to prove it. Makeup artist said today, do you want me to cover that scar up? And I was like, uh-uh, I have earned that scar. I don't wanna cover it up. So I found out that I had to have neurosurgery. I think that we had a launch that was coming up. We were filming uh, that week that I found out I had to have neurosurgery. Majority of my team was in town, and it was like, whoa, what do we do? I was a hot mess, y'all. I mean, like to talk about how it started, I was a mess. I was in terrible pain. I'm not gonna give you the whole dicey details, but vomiting from pain. I mean, you gotta be pretty sick to be doing that. So anyway, fast forward to April 13th, a month later, I had neurosurgery. So what's this is the messy middle, middle right? Like how it went. Neurosurgery went great. My time off was great. I did exactly what I planned to do, which was nothing but heal. Y'all may have heard me talk about Kendrick 2.0. Okay, no, can't hit that note, any of them. Kendrick 2.0. And uh, I was gonna take this time to figure out how to ease into a new routine. A routine that is not working quite so hard. A routine that allows me to not have neurosurgery before 50. Seriously, y'all, I'm the youngest person in that office. And the time off went well. However, I plugged back into work way too soon. I think I was off six weeks, but I plugged back into work way too soon. And it's messy when you do that. You know, it's not one of those things that you can start, stop, start, stop. Uh, you, you know, you reschedule all your customers, you, you need to make money because you have not been up and out and visible. So I plugged back in too soon and it, and it was messy and I didn't have anything really happen that was, oh my God, you've got to go back on, on bed rest. But I was tired. I hurt. I, I just, it was hard. It was messy. How's it going? Well, Today it's great. I'm getting to do one of my favorite things. I'm getting to film. I'm getting to feel pretty. Or as I say in my house, pretty. Uh, it, it's, it's going well. And there are days, like anybody with, I don't have a chronic illness, but like if you have a chronic illness, you know there are good days and there are bad days. Like anyone who's had surgery, there are good days and there are bad days. I mean, your body tells you what it needs. Unfortunately, sometimes your body needs something that you aren't set up necessarily to give without sacrificing something. So how is Kendrick 2.0 going? It's a learning process. It's not perfect. I thought in the messy middle, I am gonna map all this out. I am gonna have time for uh, Pilates. I love Pilates. I'm going to get back in shape. I'm going to have somebody here to cook healthy food or I'm going to cook healthy food. Listen, y'all, Hallianna's DoorDash bill last month was over $300. It is a problem. It's a problem. And so I didn't fix all the things. I fixed some of the things. Uh, and I think that that leads me to you. If you're like me, Oftentimes with selling or with running a business, 
our expectations are off. You know, we see this a lot, and I was this person when I started B2B selling and pharma selling. You know, I had a territory that was last in the country, and I was like, oh, this baby's going straight to number one. That did happen, but there was a lot, there were a lot of road stops and bumps. Road stops? Is that a word? There were a lot of hiccups along the way. We see it when you enter the online world and you see all these gorgeous humans, you know, talking about how they never work and they always have time to exercise and they're just manifesting millions, just sitting out by the pool all day manifesting millions. Or I promise you, you may see a bad, badass business person all, you know, well, all dressed up cool at events and having a good time and promise you that you're gonna make millions and millions of dollars. Y'all, I've been in this industry a long time. I'm just gonna say it. That is BS. That is bullshit. Now, if you're new to the industry, I don't wanna, you know, pop your pop, pop your bubble and 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 what is the opposite of motivate? Demotivate you, but we sometimes have to reset our expectations just like I did with, I thought I was going to get it all worked out. Kendrick 2.0 was going to come back and y'all were going to be like, oh my word. Holy Valentino, we should all have neurosurgery. Like she looks amazing. Her skin's glowing. Uh, you know, she is fit. The point here is I needed to reset my expectations. If my expectations had 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 stayed the same, I would very much not be on a path to Kendrick 2.0. I'd be on a path back to Kendrick 1.0, who, you know, leads from exhaustion, who leads from the feeling of not enoughness, that I'm never gonna be enough. So I think that it's important to reset expectations. I think that you know, can you start a sales job and and start, you know, with a cat with a category, with a what are those things called? Y'all, words are hard. They are harder since neurosurgery. A territory. Can you start with a territory that is last in the country or last in the company and, and take it to number one? Yeah, you can. You can enter the online world and make a great living. You you can make millions of dollars. But I think that it's important that we understand that that doesn't happen immediately. And the thing that people miss is they may get that it doesn't happen immediately, but there is so much work with finding your light. I'm going to tell you what that means in a minute, and I guarantee you it's not what you think. Quickly, before we do that, what can you expect from me in Kendrick 2.0? So we've talked about this. Like we've had, my, you know, my, my creative director and I, Jess, y'all heard me talk about her. She's incredible and she's not just mine, but I call her that. I, I, I get to share her with the world. Uh, she's incredible. But we spend a lot of time talking about this. And so what you can expect from me is honest and transparent. That, that's always been a truth. We're going to be freedom focused here. That's a little bit of a change from where I was before because freedom focus is still fueled by money in some ways, but it gives you the freedom to do what you want to do. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, generosity, we, uh, you know, you can expect me to be generous. As a matter of fact, you can, as sure as my red hair, you can bet on that. Practical. You know, I, I mean, I am what? I am still step one, step two, step three. Fun and creative. Sometimes I am going to have creative projects like our Broadway Cares event that are a huge success. And sometimes I'm going to dream up an idea and people are going to be like, I don't get the connection. Both have happened. So you can expect it. At a bare minimum, you can expect me to give you the truth. So we started with honest and transparent. It's truth. I am going to be a truth teller about what it takes to find more customers, close more sales, make more money, or have the freedom to do what you love with that money. 
and we're, we're going to do it with B2B, and we're also going to talk about it with online business and B2C. The biggest expectation that I think is not set clearly for everyone is you got to find your light. And that's a, that's a theater saying, y'all. So, of course, our first, like, YouTube back, I've got to have a theater reference. I mean, come on. Find your light. And it's a theater reference. And it, and, and, and it means, literally, step into the light on stage. Don't become a shadow, right? Like, you all have, we have, if, you, if you've been on a stage before, you know this. But, like, you have marks that you're supposed to hit, right? But find your light. What the heck does that mean for you? It means... Find your light and we need to reset the expectation of what it takes to do that because if you are starting a business and people don't know who you are you're in the dark you're not in the light if you are uh, you know in a in a b2b like a, an outside sales position it doesn't matter if you're number one or number whatever in the or number last number last in the in the company your customers don't know who you are, right? So you're in the dark. I don't mean the dark like the scary dark, like the light side and the dark side, but they don't know who you are. And so we have to go through a process of finding your light. And that is one of the things that I am going to talk more about here because people don't do it. And it is the most important skill in running a business. If you don't find your light, you will not create freedom. If you don't find your light, it is impossible to make money. So, you can expect me to talk about how you can find your light. Because it is the most important skill set when it comes to running a business. Thank you all so much for your thoughts your emails, your gifts, like look at all these mantra bands that my students sent me. Uh, I, I just have to give them a shout out. It says kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit, believe. One says keep fucking going. Uh, another one says you got this. And then yesterday, just yesterday, I got two. One that says we believe in you and one that says we believe in you and your business. Or we, I'm sorry, we believe in you. And I believe in you and I believe in your business. Thank you all. I, I'm overwhelmed in a good way for the first time in a long time with love and I, I, so many so many of you sent me flowers and gifts and, and emails and, and even if you didn't, like I just felt an overwhelming sense of warmness and love and it matters. So thank you so much. I didn't expect to have neurosurgery. I didn't expect, I mean, to, to be taking this much time off. But we reset expectations and we roll with it. And look, we're back. Oh my God, we're back again. Woo, woo. That is so not Jay-Z, but you know, that, that works. So, subscribe below for honest and transparent talk about what it takes to succeed in selling. Subscribe below if you are ready to talk about freedom focused. Let's get focused on why you want to make that money, right? Freedom focus. Subscribe below if you want practical advice, not something that's complicated, but step one, step two, step three, so that you can come and say, Kendrick, I did step one, step two, step three, but it didn't work. And I can say, oh, I see what you did there. Let's look at step two correct this rather than you trying to figure it out on your own. Subscribe below for enthusiastic, like fully expressed, you never know what you're going to get, entertainment. Subscribe below for fun and creative ideas and watch me test them and watch me fail and learn from it and watch me succeed and learn from it. New ways to connect to your audience in, the, in this world. And finally, subscribe below if you're looking for someone who's generous because I am generous with my time. I am generous with 
what you need when you are a part of the ASU crew because I do believe in you, because I do believe in your business. So that's what you can expect here. Subscribe below. I believe in you and I believe in your business. Thank y'all. Bye.